Hey, 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 profit takers. It's Victoria here back with another video. And if you can't already tell what this video is going to be about today with this thumbnail, guys, let me break the news. <laughs> so many of you all, if you've been listening to my videos that, you know, I always talk about this indicator not being available anymore. Um, so I did get a chance to um, talk to uh, Chris of Traders Den, and he's going to make this available for us, for me, for our community. So Pips on Fire is going to get the indicator, y'all. I'm so excited. I can finally start. Um, you guys can finally start using this and seeing how, you know, it makes things easier for me, especially when it comes to um, sticking with the trading plan on um, the very next day after the new peak or the, the new green or red day signal, right? So this definitely helps with that. So we're going to just dive into some of the um, trade setups that are coming up um, in for tomorrow. And yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So... <clears throat> Hopefully, wait, let's see, can you, uh-oh, clicking on the wrong stuff, y'all. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now you can see my screen. <laughs> um, all right. So we are looking at, let me go and just, let's just look at the stuff that's easy, right? So anytime that I see a one day after the uh, peak or the high of week or this could, this is also known as a first red day first red days are described as um when price so first of all you have a you have a failed breakout right um and then second of all let's look at the week let's look at the week guys let me make it a little smaller <clears throat> and let's just look so UJ is not really my favorite pair, but you know, when the setup is there, it's my favorite pair. <laughs> let me just, let me just say that, right? It is my favorite pair when a setup is available. And as we can see here yesterday, uh, Wednesday, it was more of a high low day, almost like a day zero, if you will, because it was a peak high and a peak low. So um, generally you can just use those. Um, these, this, this move normally happens like on a Tuesday which is um, considered an initial balance day. Now these terminolo terminologies that I'm using, I'm just, it's just, it's from Stacy Burke's trading. He has Tuesday down as initial balance and it's really just the combination of Monday, Monday's high and low and the extension of that. So usually I would see that and then I would just mark it, right? That would, what I would call initial balance high and then just leave it there. And it also, like I said, because it was a little, you know, we had a high and low yesterday and we did have news yesterday too. So, you know, news has always kind of muddy things up and then you kind of don't know what the hell's going on, right? <laughs> because this looked like it was going to, um, go short and it failed. Okay. And when the markets opened for Asia, London, it looked like it was going to go long, but it did fail for, for those guys. And then it gave an opportunity for shorts for the rest of the team for the rest of the day. I mean, it reached the low of the day, and then we had an opportunity to trade that low um, in New York. Um, let's see, what time was that? A little later in New York. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, this was towards, let's see here. Yeah, this was a little later in, in New York if you were hanging out um, to trade this because it was pretty much doing its three levels of drop um, from London all the way down even in New York session, so you didn't really get a lot, right? So by the time it hit the low of day for New York, towards the end of the session, were you there? Because of course we had the FCMO. I'm pretty sure you were, because this darn near looks like that candle for that for that trade that was at two o'clock, okay? So from that trade, you know, we were thinking this thing could have possibly been um, going, uh, well actually, no, hold on, let me look at this trade, guys. Because from yesterday we have, <clears throat> excuse me, where the price closed above the open, right? So that's a telltale sign when that happens that you're going to get a red signal for the next day. So this is like perfect, 
right? And I can't ever, I don't even remember ever learning that early on in my trading career. I didn't learn, you know, press action boy. It is ideal that you learn this, learn the language of price, right? And just learning how to read price action um, without the indicators. But this does help with you being able to look at a lot of charts really quickly without having to go in there and wreck your brain about, okay, what are we doing today? You know, where are we at? You know what I'm saying? So this just really cuts it in half. Now I don't use everything on here, but it's good to know um, where the ADR is, right? It's not always a hundred percent with ADR because ADR is an average daily range. Um, sometimes it will exceed the ADR and sometimes it won't even touch the ADR and then the, you know, it reverses. So you want to pay attention to what price is doing. So Wednesday we did have a signal for a, um, for a short day for Thursday, Thursday came and that signal confirmed when we had these failed breakouts, right? When you could see the breakouts failed, um, early in the session, London, <clears throat> and then in New York, All right? So, um, beautiful trade for today to go short. I don't know why I wasn't looking at UJ today, but usually guys, when I'm looking at, when I'm looking at this indicator, I'm looking for those ones, right? Those are my favorite ones because you know that it's, it's almost a hundred percent guaranteed. Let's just say 99% because everything with this, with trading is a probability and we don't want to get ahead of ourselves because anything can happen and then our bias is not working anymore, right? It happens all the time. So, but I guarantee you, you're going to have a, a higher chance of getting this trade right <laughs> um, when you see this indicator print out a one um, day after or the one day of you know, high of the week or high or low of the week. And it's number one, or it's a first, you look at Thursday and be like, yeah, that looks like we're going to have a signal, um, for us to go short on the following day. And then you're just ready. You're prepared when you come to the charts and you're ready to execute the trade. So all you have to do, depending on your session is be available, right? Just be available for the session. We know that for London, that's two o'clock in the morning. Um, two o'clock is, when it opens, uh, I believe three is uh, the stop hunt. I don't know if it's like, I don't think it's like London, like New York where 9.30 is the, it's like the, the market open stop hunt trade or whatever. But <clears throat> nonetheless, um, today at 9.45, uh, actually, you know, right at 9.30, you, were, you could already get into this trade. So I'm going to drop down to M5. And just how it just laid out beautifully for us right here. Okay. I love to see, like, I love to see all of this stuff on my chart. Like I want to see, um, you know, I want to see the sessions, right? I want to see, uh, the gap between London and New York. I want to mark the high of that area right there. Okay. <clears throat> And I want to mark the high and the low. I mean, typically that's what you would do. Okay. If I can actually mark it, guys. <laughs> Let's see. Let me just get another one. This is tripping today. Yesterday, I'm not going to tell you guys. If y'all watched my other video and I was sitting here trying to figure out why my MT5 wasn't progressing. Oh my gosh. If you guys would have known the truth behind that, you would have been laughing at me. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save that. <laughs> okay, so we have that marked. Take that off. Um, <clears throat> and so what you're waiting for, shoot, is just you already know you're looking to go short and you're just waiting for those levels to um, to show up. So I'm going to mark. I don't know why I, li I like to mark these little sessions here. It's almost like the countdown, right? Three, two, and then one right there. Okay, that's just, I don't know, this is weird, but yeah. This is M5, guys. Um, if you trade M1, then this, let's see what that looks like. It's like even more clear. But I've never gotten into trading this particular time frame, guys. As like I said before, I've mentioned it, that I want to start getting into it. I haven't done it yet. 
Okay, I'm just going to be straight up. I have not done that yet, but it is something that I want to start getting into. Um, it's a lot, what a lot of traders do who trade this particular strategy. They'll trade M1 like Stacey Burke trades it. Um, I just never done it. It was like M5 was like my my comfort spot. You know, M15, you know, even more comfort, right? But then they always say, oh, you're too late. You're too late after that. You want to get in on M5. I'm like, okay, we'll get in on M5 then too. So, so yeah, that's what's up. All right. Um, and then where do we get out of this trade? I mean, technically we've already drawn our levels. If you were already drawing your levels, let's go to M30. I like that one just because it's going to let us see everything. So we drew our levels, right? Remember I was saying how this was the initial balance, the high, <clears throat> peak high, and then the peak low. So we would go ahead and identify the peak low as well and draw that out because that's an area where we want to go ahead and take profits from. And it always plays out. Always, always plays out. Okay. So depending on when you got to the market, is that depending on how many pips you got, right? Um, if it was New York, from that area down, that's about 50 pips. I mean, even, shoot, London, let's see. Let's go down to 15. If you were in on London all the way down, it's 89 some odd pips. But, you know, you can always add to your position. And then, of course, you know, you're making the most out of these moves, right? That's ideal. So today is the day, right? Um of the trade. It's also an official trend reversal. So we should still expect um, to go short tomorrow. We should. So let me take off some of these, these things here. Take some of this off here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and draw this because that is now yesterday's low and our first push out of this the um, open range. And we are looking for prices to blow through that and get us down here to 280R. Um, usually is a good place for it to go next. And so the other thing we want to do, I want to draw the channel. So I'm gonna grab this channel tool and the idea behind this channel tool, let's see, can you see it? You can barely see it. Let me change the color. I'll keep it red, but let me make it to where you can see it. There you go. The idea behind this is to identify the end of day consolidation, which I kind of did, which with the initial balance low and then the low of the day, that already has already identified that for me. Honestly, that's my end of day consolidation. So what do we want to do with this end of day consolidation? We want this, and I'm gonna just call it EODC, end of day consolidation, right? Um, we wanna use this level to get our stop hunt high and drop. So I'm gonna extend that out some more and it just happens to be around our lovely quarter, 4.4, uh, 47.570. So we want price to come to that area. Let me see, where is my pen? Where's my pen? Okay. Okay, okay, let's bring something out. What color is it gonna be? All right, here, so we want, if it's gonna, you know, lay flat a little bit, fine. But we definitely want price to come out of here, come back in here, come back out again, and then drop. Okay, that's what we want. Sometimes you'll get this A, this um, A pattern instead of the M pattern. 
All right, but within those patterns, you should be able to see, you know, three pushes up, down, up, down, right? That's typically what, how it works. So that's what we're looking for tomorrow with the target around here. Um, to, I don't know when it's gonna move, right? That's the thing with this UJ pair. Like sometimes it may move all in, in the London session, but it's the major, so let's let it work in our time, right? Or, you know, I don't know when your time is, but let's let this thing be available for us in the time that we're trading, okay? All right, so let's look at another one. Let's look at another one, guys, because we have more. We have a ton of signals here. Um, if Pound Aussie is a friend of yours, this one also is giving us the high of day or high of week. I'm just going to call this peak. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> because I'm a, a BTMM uh, trader from the heart. This is technically one day after the peak, right? Because today is already Friday in the trading world, even though it's still Thursday. Okay, I'm not trying to make anyone stupid here because it's not what I'm doing. I'm just saying. Um, so let's see. Prices did close. There's the open on Wednesday and then below. So prices did close below. So Wednesday did give us a signal that we were going to expect some, something magical to happen on today. Now, this magic wasn't as pretty as I would have hoped. Just looking at how it dropped, it was a little, it was a little janky, right? This is really the kind of drop that you would expect when the markets are just ranging and cha challenging, doing a channel down with the range, you know. I can't stand it when they do this. It's like, come on now, just freaking move already. <laughs> but nonetheless, the trades are in there, right? Um, but they moved kind of late. Like you can see a nice clean move at the end of the session. Um, but in, in London, you had plenty of ups and downs, which would have probably drove you crazy. But if you um, were hanging in there, then this thing actually fell through nicely towards the end of London session and then it went flat during the gap time. And then it went flat even more in New York until at the end of New York, it gave another solid drop down. So was this a nice one? Not really. I would have probably gotten out of it just because it was just moving too erotic. I just want something to just be smooth. Just lay down and just, just melt, right? I just don't, I don't mean, I don't need all that extra. That would just be ticking me off, <laughs> okay? So um, so what are we looking here today? Same thing, we're looking, um, we're gonna highlight the, uh, the high and low, the end of day, consolidation. Why is this acting janky? Did I grab that wrong? Hmm. Maybe I did. I'm having the time of my life with MT4 today. Ugh, it's annoying. All right, let's try it again. This was the high. That was a low. It's like coming in backwards or something. Is it just me? Because on MT5, the one, the three dots are on the top. Okay, that is good enough. So what are we looking for here, guys? We're looking again for prices to um, to either get support or resistance. So because we're going into, you know, prices, well, actually, hmm, let's see. Oops, it's kind of... Yeah, that should work. It is above. So that's telling me we're probably going to look to, um, we may get a, a long position tomorrow. Just might do it. It might come back up to this area just because of the way, I mean, it's above slightly, 
So I don't know. Watch this one, guys. Don't get too um, hung up if this thing doesn't play out properly. Okay. But we are kind of waiting for, let's say price does go up, right? And then we finally get the opportunity to short it once it reaches one of these levels. The um, This is the low of Asia. So this indicator, guys, um, it basically identifies the psychological um, support and resistance using the high and low of Asia. So what I'm trying to do is get the, you know, once we get this thing all set up for pips on fire, I do want this to um, capture the high and low of Monday's open range. So sometimes it captures it like it did here. And sometimes it's, it's, it does not because it goes based off of Asia's high and low, not the close of Monday high and low, if that makes any sense. There is a difference and I'll prefer it to be the whole day. And that just kind of fits the whole, uh, Stacey Burke, um, strategy. That's what I want. Okay. So tomorrow look out for prices to go long and then hopefully short for us because we have this stop hunt to the low here. And that's, to me, it's just, I don't know. It's just giving me that we're going to probably reverse tomorrow um, before we go back short again. That's just what it's looking like. I could be wrong. I don't know. All right, let's go to another favorite one. So we have GA and then now let's look at EA. All right, so they're slightly different. EA is like for sure <laughs> telling us that we are going long, right? Because today... Um, we were in, uh, we, we had our first day long after the signal right here, but it's again, this signal guys, we had open here and then it was just slightly below, but mm, slightly below was giving me the, the whole vibe of maybe we're going to be going short. So by the time the price came up here and started failing, I was going short on it again. It wasn't pretty. It was like the GA and, the, and I just like, I eventually just got out of the trade. It was just taking too long to, to do what it needed to do in my session. So I was like, you know what, this thing is actually long. So let me just forget it and then come back again tomorrow. So we did have our first push out of the open here. We closed outside of the range. So um, to me, that's a good sign. So I'm just going to wait for... Um, there it goes again with this little janky thing. You know, I'm just going to be I'm just going to use the use this right here. So I'm going to do get down to M15. <sighs> Let's see here. I'm going to use this area again as the end of day consolidation and it's just the high and the low and I'm going to wait and see what's happening, right? Can we get price to actually participate and um, come around this area, play around here, and then give us the stop hunt low rise, right? That's exactly what I would think it would do based on the pattern and based on it being day two, right? So let's see, because this is definitely closed above. And anytime we close above, that is our signal. Oops, wait, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That is our signal. So it's just like day one of the cycle and then day two, I believe. Yeah, that is our signal. We should be expecting to go long. Okay. All righty. Um, Do we have another one? Of course we do. Let's look at look at one more. So I always like to do things in threes as well. <laughs> okay, let's see which one should we pick here. We've already looked at GA. We looked at look at this one. That was U. Yep, we looked at UJ. Now you see how this is like all for me. I don't know why this does it for me. I hope you know. I don't know. Not everybody's. Um, application looks like this but for me it does i don't know what to do about it so hopefully when this becomes available for you hopefully yours doesn't do that right um and again for right now it's going to be 
MT4. I am have requested MT5 because I do use that and I want it to be available on that application as well. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, gold is still looking good for shorts tomorrow. Price did close below, continue to close below. Um, and we're outside of the range. So ideally we want to take out yesterday's low. Just simple as that. That is the plan, right? And look guys, it's almost at 380R. So, you know, this one might go ahead and wrap it up, right? By the end of the week is <laughs> going to wrap it on up. Who knows? But it could even be till Monday before that work that hits. Okay. So that is, I mean, that is it. So, I mean, let me see. I mean, that's pretty much it. We have the, we got that there. And then I got that here. Very, very narrow range. So just looking for some magic to happen. Come on down, break through. But your first target will always be here. You always want to take TP at yesterday's low. That's your first target. And then um, have a second position, let it go until 380R, okay? That's just, that's how I see it. Okay, so again, I'm so excited um, that we are gonna get this indicator for the community. I think that it's a great tool. It's a fantastic tool. There's a lot of things out here that I don't use, right? But we'll have all these defined for you all. So if you want to use them, um, it can, it's there for you. And, you know, just looking forward to it. So I can't wait to make, you know, the official announcement when it is available. And the way you're going to know first is if you're in the locals community, because I will um, share it there first and perhaps give it a small discount. Um, but for right now, the going price for this will be $40 um, subscription. So, you know, cancel any time. And, you know, this tool is great. So a fantastic tool. Um, to use and if you're serious about trading and then of course, you know learning price action and learning how this indicator even works I mean you that is like key Okay, because you need to be able to make decisions because sometimes, you know indicators are great But are they gonna be perfect all the time? I don't think so. I think this one has held its its own for Ever since I've been using it, but you still need to know um, what it is that you're doing what you're working with, right? So with that, guys, I, I really appreciate you guys being a part of this, this call today, tonight, this evening, wherever you're watching it and look forward to having you being a part of, you know, the locals community. Again, that information is going to be in the description of this video. So you can just go there, go ahead. It's free to be a part of locals. Just go there and just get the darn thing. Okay. Just do the darn thing and sign up. Right, and then you'll be the first to know when you can get your hands on this indicator. All right, okay, that is it for today. And I will see you in the next one. Ciao for now.